Hello, my lovelies. So I did a hair experiment today. Um, I tried something out to give me body and some curls on the ends. And as you see, my ends are still pretty curly. Um, I've got my hair up because I cooked dinner tonight. And I figured, well, since I'm cooking dinner, I might as well do a cooking with Torin vid. So, um, at some point, either tonight or tomorrow, there should be a cooking video up, and i show you how to make meatloaf. <laughs> Sorry, Cindy. Uh, my friend Cindy hates meatloaf because it is meat in a shape, and she does not like meat in shapes. That's just the way it is. But uh, I do have a pretty good meatloaf recipe that is not um, too bad. Uh, I actually think it's pretty tasty. My husband likes it, and this is experimenting with meatloaf over the years. This is the one that I now use. So, yay, you will have my meatloaf recipe. Woo! Um, but uh, for the most part of this uh, vlog, um, instead of me talking at you and giving you a topic, I figured we'd do something about hair. So, um, yeah, so let's cut to the video of me doing the hair experiment, uh, which was successful. So, whoot. Alrighty, guys. Um, hope you enjoy that. Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, today we're doing a hair experiment. Um, this is probably going to be part of a vlog. Hmm. So, any hoodles, what I did was uh, my hair was damp. Um, it was almost totally dry, and then I re-wetted it with this stuff. Let's see. Uh... Aussie spray gloss, just to dampen it up a little bit. Um, I turned over, I bent over, I slid on a bun form, and then I, you know, made this sock bun. Uh, what was left over, uh, I split into two, and twirled, and then put around my head, and then stopped them both here, and then took the very ends, and did these little curls, which is just I wrapped my hair around two fingers and then put two of these tiny little baby clips on each side, except I ran out, so I have one big clip. So basically, I want body with some curls on the end, so let's see what happens when we take it down. I don't know. I did do it all the way up here on top of my head, though, so I could sleep. Um, and it wasn't too bad to sleep in, I have to say. I was actually rather shocked. Um... I think because, oh well it curled, um, I think because I didn't start out with a ponytail holder, maybe, and I just started out with the bun form. Oh, all these little baby claw clips, can you see me? Can you see? Can you see? Oh, so tiny. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I don't know, I know a lot of the girls, um, really like uh, the kind of fully ro rolled uh, sock bun to get waves that doesn't work for me. My hair doesn't dry. Um, even if I can get my hair in a fully rolled sock bun, which is not always the case. I have a lot of hair and it doesn't always want to roll all the way up. Um, and then during takedown, it's really tangled. Uh, yeah, so that's not a, a curling technique for me, although I've seen evidence from many of you how pretty your hair looks uh, when you get it to work, so awesome. Uh, <laughs> but that is that is not a technique for myself. It does not work for me, and that's okay. Not everything is going to work for every head of hair. We all have different lengths, textures, what have you. I am stuck. There we go. So, yeah, um, don't get frustrated. Uh, I guess this is like words of encouragement time. Don't get too frustrated when a certain style just won't work for you. It happens. There are a lot of styles that don't work for me at all. Um, they just, I have too much hair, and it's just, you know, or my hair is just a little bit too thick. Um... Or I just can't figure out how to make it work. <laughs> also happens. 
Um, yeah. So, I, I mean, I tell you to try not to get frustrated, even though I myself often get frustrated and throw various hair implements at the wall and cuss and stamp my feet and occasionally cry when I can't get something to work. Um, especially when it was something somebody sent in as a request and I'm like, oh yeah, that's no problem, I'll do that. And I just, there's just no way it's going to work. I, I cry sometimes. I feel like I'm disappointing you guys. <laughs> and that is sad. Okay, I think that's all of them. So let's uh, take these down. Well, that looks like everything. And you can see we've got that happening. So that's encouraging. Um, we do have a ponytail holder in here. So I'll take that out. Pull my hair around like so. Slide this out. Hmm. Flip. Oh, let's just do a hair toss. Uh, separate a little bit here on the ends. Because who knows what hairs went where's. Yes, I'm doing poetry. I can't help. It's not really poetry. I'm just rhyming. Um, and I know you guys can't see the ends. So let's scroll down. Can you see the ends? Probably still not. A little more. Okay. So here are our ends, which actually look pretty decent. I have to say. Um, the hair is a hole. Let's find out where it's going to part. Looks pretty decent, I have to say. Um, yes. Yes. I would say that, that is a successful hair experiment. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my bangs. I just didn't want them in the way. And I can't really work Veronica Lake very well. Unfortunately, I just feel like I have way too much forehead, but I will probably pull this back and put a barrette in it. <laughs> just because I don't feel like mucking about with it too terribly much. So, yay, that worked, that little experiment. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about that. Huh. Because it didn't take nearly as long to do up as when I soft roll it, and I don't know, it gave me a little bit of, I need a hair breath. it gave me a little bit of volume and really pretty ends. So yeah, I'm going to find a barrette wherever I have one, and <laughs> I'm really bad about it. Alrighty guys, sorry about one. that. I was just really having a problem finding a simple hair barrette. I don't know where they all are, so I ended up uh, using Bobby's and then deploying a decorative one, uh, one of my dragonfly rhinestone one, can you see it? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, pretty easy, I just wanted it away, so, my bangs, oh, I do love my bangs, um, there has been a lot of discussion lately, um, where half of you are saying, oh my gosh, you have bangs, I love your bangs, so those must be newbies because I've had bangs as long as I've had my channel. But I have lately been wearing them, um, you know, back into my hairstyles instead of, you know, as my bangs. Um, and then some of you, of course, are, oh, I much prefer you without bangs. It is well and good, whichever way you prefer me, with or without. Um, I'm still going to keep them because I like having the option of having bangs or not having bangs. Like right now, doesn't look like I really have any. But when I want them, they're there. That's why I keep my bangs very thin. Um, I don't cut bangs from back here and lose a ton of hair. Just a little fringe in the front. That's it. And if I, you know, use my big giant round brush and a hair dryer, I can make them whoop. And then I can 
hairspray them if they're not going to cooperate. Usually they cooperate. I don't have to use hairspray, but every now and then. Um, yeah, and then I have bangs. So if I want to wear all of my hair back and slicked back, then I have bangs so I don't look bald. And then things like today, I can pin them back. It looks like I don't have any, but they're still there. Options. That's why I like them. Um, yeah. So, as to the big bang debate. Huh. Anyways, <laughs> as to the bangs fringe debate, um, I'm not growing them out. Um, I do keep them trimmed. I just have been wearing them back a little more of late, but that is always subject to change because if I start wearing my hair up all the time, they will come out. Um, so there you have it. Alrighty, my lovelies. Uh, that's all for today. I just thought you might like to have a good time and see how the experiment did. Uh, maybe I can put you up. Well, no, then it always goes cockeyed and it's weird, but here you go. Um, hopefully you can see the end. Can you see the end? Mm -hmm. But I think it looks really pretty. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Um, until next time, okay. have a great day. Hopefully it was fun for you and you liked it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll do another hair experiment or some other sort of experiment um, that could make fun vlogs. Let me know what you think. Alrighty, guys. Um, until next time, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.